Welcome back to another episode of the Stephen Sully Study. I thought I'd just talk about the, the thing that is swooping the, uh, the country and also internationally is about this, um, the coronavirus. And part of me talking about it is because it's inevitable that most people are going to catch uh, this particular virus. And I think the way you respond and the way you deal with it is going to be the making or breaking of you, certainly for the short term. In life, you know, there's currently at the moment coronavirus. We've just been dealing with Brexit. We've been dealing with certain politicians, governments, presidents. We've been dealing with all kinds of different things, whether that is locally, nationally or internationally. And then on top of that, you've got your own challenges and stresses and problems. And my first message is, just you just got to accept that life is going to be like that life is just going to have many many different challenges and you're going to go through very uncomfortable times and challenging um <clears throat> situations and you kind of need to get over the fact that life isn't perfect and it can be a bit sometimes and coronavirus in my mind is just another challenge and that's all it is so i wanted to break it down to three things that i constantly think about when I'm looking at the news, reading articles, listening to different opinions and this is just my take on it. I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an economist, I'm not a person who is uh, rubbing shoulders with the government or politicians, I'm just a regular guy who likes to keep myself fit, likes likes to keep myself focused, likes to train, likes to... um, run businesses and invest into th- certain things and I think no matter whether you're um, similar to me or you're something completely different I think we need to take it in consideration and, and more importantly have the mindset to overcome uh, certain certain things. The first thing I think we all need to take in consideration very very basic one is your mindset. Are you the type of person are you going to be the type of people that is going to let the news newspapers people's opinions, families' opinions, friends, some people that you're affiliated with, neg you out about your current situation, your current circumstances, your business, sales or whatever it may be because of coronavirus. And I feel it's slightly ridiculous that people allow other people's opinions to get into their mind and therefore it kind of disables them from, from moving forward and achieving their goals. I'm fairly raw and the way I speak and my mindset about this kind of stuff isn't isn't going to be to everybody's taste and I understand that you know every when I when I do my podcast or anything I do in life there's obviously going to be the people that are going to give you feedback there's going to be people that are going to hate on you there's going to be people that are not going to like what you're going to say and unfortunately I can't cater to everybody and I'm not trying to cater to everybody people's opinion I I will listen to a certain level, depending on who they are, but most of the time I think, fuck it, I'm just going to carry on anyway. My mindset is that this thing is not going to hold me back. I'm going to still plough forward and still going to achieve my goals. That is my mindset. And I feel the number one thing with any challenges, Brexit, coronavirus, there'll be another bloody virus in the next few months, a few years. There's going to be another challenge like, you know, Brexit, low interest rates. There's going to be a recession and all this kind of stuff. My mindset is that it doesn't matter what happens, things might get tougher, things might change, I'm going to find a way to deal with it I'm going to, and, and I'm going to plough forward. And it doesn't matter whether a family member, a friend or a colleague or someone has an opinion, that is just an opinion and it's not a fact. The facts are that I can deal with certain things and move forward. I know there are millions of people in Italy, for example, on lockdown, I get that. And I know there's going to be people that con- contracted the virus. And I understand that some people might even die. But my understanding of it is if you're fit and healthy, and um, you're you're of a you know, you're a young um, adult, most likely you're going to get it and it's not going to do anything to you. So the first one is mindset is your mindset of one which is going to be affected by it? <clears throat> or you're going to plow forward and, and uh, deal with it and just overcome this, this situation. The second point health. This is a fucking good time to start thinking about your health. Because if you wasn't motivated by just being healthy anyway, if you wasn't motiv- motivated by your next holiday or the summer's coming up or you just want to feel the best version that you could be, then the coronavirus should get you to start thinking about 
health, fitness and nutrition and all round wellness. That is the benefit of something like a coronavirus and, and something which is sweeping the nation. Fitness obviously goes without saying, the fit you are, the more energy you're gonna have and, and the better you're gonna feel. Nutrition, uh, I'm not a nutritionist, but I take a lot of advice from certain individuals. I've interviewed Coop DC twice. I take a lot of um, guidance from him. Ruben Tabarez, who's part of Mimboso, and he is someone that I've interviewed before. There's a guy called Pete, who I've also interviewed, who is part of the David Hay Haymaker camp. Um, and there's a guy I got to know called Tyson, who's from Alkaline Human. Really top guy. I have a lot of respect for him, for him. And no matter whether you're plant-based, um, raw, vegan, or you're someone that has a bit more of a westernized diet, one thing they've all got in common, they, they all talk about eating clean. So taking out lots of salts, artificial sugars, alcohol, smoking, drugs, obviously, and more importantly, increase, you know, like your superfoods and your leafy greens. They help to cleanse your blood. And that's quite a common theme. So I cold press uh, juice every single day, and I take in a lot more raw uh, leafy greens simply because I understand it does cleanse your blood and therefore if your blood, blood is cleansed, it's very, very hard for you to become ill and contract the virus. The last one, your USP, which is your unique selling point. Some businesses are gonna fail because of what's happening. I understand that um, a coronavirus or something like this can trigger a, a recession or a downturn or some kind of depression as the media calls it. I had a very similar thing happen in 2007 into 2008. In 2007, I, I earned as a salesperson about a quarter of a million pound in that year. The next year, I earned half a million pound. But to most people, selling financial products or systems or services in, in a downturn is almost impossible. Well, I used the media as fuel rather than something that was gonna hinder me. I didn't allow people's opinions to say, because there's, there's a recession, selling and selling products and services and systems, they're going to go out the window because people were saying that. Even a family member said it to me. My USP is I'm going to use the media. I'm going to use articles. I'm going to use what's going on out, out there as a, as a fuel and as bullets to help my business thrive and, and, and to, to push on and also to make money. And I'm also gonna use it to educate my clients and, and most importantly, uh, get them to do their own research and then conclude and make their own minds up what they should be doing with their, with their finances or why they should be buying a product or why they should be buying a certain system. I, I honestly feel that it does come down to that mindset and it comes down to you, your USP. How are you pitching, presenting yourself? How are you positioning, positioning yourself in a downturn? Um, sometimes you might have to tweak uh, the way you go about doing business in order for you to thrive. And, and, and bearing in mind that most other businesses are going to get so scared and they're not willing to change and they're just going to shut, shut their doors just because, you know, there's this pandemic which is... Um, which apparently is going to hit, be hitting them. I personally th think it's fueled a lot because of media. It's fueled because of a lot of people's bad uh, opinions about it. And it's also a bit of propaganda. My USP is I'm going to learn it. I'm going to understand what's going on. I'm going to get news articles. I'm going to educate my clients. And, and, and then I'm going to give them solutions. And I feel that if you're solution driven and if you've got uh, things that can actually help them save their money, protect their money and yield a very, very uh, a better profit, or give them an edge in their business, or give them an edge as a as an individual. This could be a fucking great time. In actual fact, you can make more money in a downturn than ever before. So you need to understand your USP and how to use the articles, the news, um, some of the opinions out there as fuel, and you can spin it on its head and really, really seize this opportunity. So these are my my takes on the coronavirus. It's going to be the worst thing in the world if you're um, if you're just sitting on your hands and, and and you're getting anxiety over it and you're not going out your house and all that kind of stuff. Or this could be a really really good time to get your mindset right, get your health and fitness right, become the best version, the healthiest version you can be, and, and most importantly, how to utilize this this news and spin it into your into your favor. Be happy, never content, smash. Uh, the week coming up, smash your Wednesday, and I really hope these uh, these podcasts are giving you um, inspiration, education, and, and motivation. And please recommend me, friends, family, subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on my Facebook, Instagram, and all that all, all that good stuff. Nice one, guys. Take care.